God bless you, everyone, at the sound of my voice. Welcome to today's teaching. This is part six of the word, A New Beginning. It's going to be so powerful. I want to make this special announcement, please. I want you to listen attentively. After today's teaching, I will be back on video teaching on this Facebook by September 5th. It's going to be on Monday. We're going to be teaching a brand new lesson on the lifestyle of evangelism. That is September 5th. Please mark your calendar. I will be back after today. I will be back next month, September 5th. I will be teaching about the lifestyle of evangelism. And let us listen today. It's going to be so powerful. Today we are going to learn that God, listen to me, is knowable. You can know the Lord through his word, through the Holy Spirit. But God is not comprehensible. You cannot box God. You can't know God through your intellect. It's impossible. So often said that, let us go to the presence of God in prayer. Father, we thank you. We bless you for another day that you have given us privilege to come and teach your precious word to your precious people. Bible says, the entrance of your word gives life. The light of the gospel permit home family right now in the name of Jesus. Everyone and the sound of my voice, you are free from all the attacks of the enemy over you, over your children, your children, children, over your family through the power of the gospel. Say amen. Say it again. Amen. You are welcome to today's message. A new beginning. This is part six. As I said before, after today's message, I'll be back again in September 5th. Next month, we're going to be learning and teaching what is called a lifestyle evangelism. I'm taking my lesson today from Isaiah 43, verse 19. Isaiah 43, verse 19 says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Don't forget, I is the subject matter here. That's God. God of a new beginning. Listen. He said, Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I even I will even mend a way in the wilderness. A river in the desert. God of all possibilities. You don't have a way in the wilderness. And God said, I will make a way in the wilderness. You don't have rivers in the desert. God said, I will make de- rivers in the desert. Not just worry about the river. Our God is God of a new beginning. And the month of August is a month of new beginning because that is number eight. The eighth month of the year. Listen, God said, I will make you a delight song. It's going to be powerful today. Praise God. In our previous series, they I want you to go back and learn how God did that. Listen, when you are born again, when you are saved, you are born of the Spirit, then you have a new beginning, new start, fresh start, clean slate, hallelujah, washed by the blood of Jesus, hallelujah. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. In the Old Testament, people go to the temple. But in the New Testament, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Then we go to the fellowship place. Don't forget that. Praise the Lord. God of a new beginning. Through the love of God. 
God loved the unlovable. That is why you cannot comprehend God's love. Praise God. Listen to First Corinthians chapter 13. I will read verse 8. I want to read this one in Amplified Bible. He said, Love never fails. First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8. You know why? Because this love, agape love, is not just one of God's attributes. No. Agape love is God Himself. That is the nature of God. So the nature of God never fails. Bible says Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrew 13, 8. Write them down and you go through it and pray over it. Listen, 1 Corinthians 13, 8 from Amplified Bible. I will read it again. Love never fails. It never fails nor ends. That's, the, that's God in action. But as for prophecy, they will pass away, and for tongues, they will cease. <coughs> Excuse me. As for the gift of special knowledge, it will pass away. It will go. Not now. When we have the hope of that resurrection, when that hope becomes fulfillment, when you see the love, you see God face to face. The rest of the gift we cease. But love, that is God, never change, never fail. Oh, hallelujah. So, when you are born again, you have the nature of that love in you, in your spirit being. The kingdom that is coming, that the whole world will see, that kingdom dwells in your inner man. Your spirit man, when you are born again. As I said in my previous message, Job 41, he that is born of a woman has only a few days and full of trouble. But when you are born of the spirit, John 3 and John 3 31, you are born above problems. The Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous. God. Deliver them from it all. So you have you carry divinity. Say that with me. I carry divinity. I'm a divinity carrier. Oh, glory be to God. That is why Satan should not mess up with you. Don't allow it. Don't allow Satan to mess up with you. He says, Satan, take your hand off from me. Read what the Bible says in the book of Second Peter. No, I'm jump up on myself, but so ha ha ha. Second Peter chapter one, verse four. Second Peter one four say, listen, whereby are given unto us exceedingly great and precious promises. Listen to them. That by this you might be partakers. You are partakers hmm, of the divine nature. When you are born again, Kalombo Kushande Redebotoya, you are partake of divine nature. Having escaped the corruption that is in this world through loss, you cannot escape the corruption of this world through loss if you are not born of the spirit. Because you cannot solve the problem. Say maternity that was that problem was acquired. No, you are born from above. Say that I'm born from above. I'm born to enjoy the Victorian life. Say that I'm born to enjoy the Victorian life. I'm born of the love of God. Say that I'm born of the love of God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Praise the Lord. That's what Thanksgiving should be part of your lifestyle. Faith will not come to fusion without Thanksgiving. That is Colossians chapter 2, verse 7. Your faith will not come to fruition without thanksgiving. Oh, God will not manifest His presence that is in you now without thanksgiving. I want to read that. That just come to my spirit, Colossia, chapter 2. Oh, glory. Somebody's getting blessed. 
Say, I am blessed two times. I am blessed it again. I am blessed. <coughs> Excuse me, please. Colossians 2. Oh, glory. Look at verse 7. Say, rooted. See? Rooted. And build up in him. And establish in the faith as you have been taught. Abiding therein with thanksgiving. You're going to stop. Bible say, in him, give God praise because it could be worse. Do not give God praise for it. Don't say this problem is from God. No, there's no problem in heaven. Welcome to the planet of earth, but you have to be born of the Spirit. If you are not born again, I will give you opportunity after this message to be born again. You're going to church, you may be a pastor. That does not mean you are born again. You have to be born of the Spirit. You have to be born of the love of God. Praise God. In Lamentation, chapter 3. Lamentation, please, let's go there. Chapter 3, I will read verse 22 and 23 in a preferred Bible. Are you struggle with faith? Follow me. Let's go. Struggle no more. It's God's nature. All you need to do is to say, come to my life, Jesus. And if you are born again, that love is in you, but you have to express it by action. Faith will remain passive without action. Don't forget that. Faith will remain passive without action. Praise the Lord. Lamentation 3, 22 and 23 in the Amplified Bible says, It is because of the loss, Lord, loving kindness that we are not consumed because His tender compassion never fail. Talk about love. Never fail. They are new every morning. Great. And beyond measure is your faithfulness. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody say, I am blessed. I am blessed. You have to proclaim it before you see it. Amen. I'm talking about new beginning. You walk in the victory of Christ. Say that I am walk, I am walking in the victory of Christ. You believe it, but to confess it, it will come to manifestation. Don't wait until you see it before you confess it. Our God calleth things that are not do the word. Listen and write this down. To walk in this victory, <laughs> yeah, is to walk in love. You want to express victory in your health, in your family, in your finance, walk in love. I'm talking about agape love. Listen. We, listen, we have the declaration of love in the Old Testament or Old Covenant. God declared you have to love your labor as yourself. But the problem is that we don't love ourselves. <laughs> Very hard. Some people say, I wish I born this, I born that. In the spiritual realm, like we are like a Christ. Because his nature is in you. It's not a savior of skin. It doesn't matter your color. It's not by race. It's by grace that you are born again. So I will read it again. To walk in this victory is to walk in love. We have the declaration of love in the Old Testament or in the Old Covenant. Listen. Then we have the demonstration of love in the gospel by Jesus our Lord. However, we have the nature of this love when we are born of the Spirit. And this nature is revealed to us in the letter to the church we call that epistle. So you don't just read Bible for your intellectual stimuli. It's a love letter to the spirit man. In the Old Testament, God declared to us that we should love. But we're not born again in the Old Testament. And Jesus came, he demonstrated that. Do you know the first word on the cross is this? Father, forgive them. How can God forgive us when we are so evil? 
because that is his nature. But the moment you are born again, Ooh, through the Spirit of God, that nature of love is in you. And when you begin to read a spell, a pistol, that is who you are in Christ. Oh, oh, glory be to God. Listen to, let's see, let's see, if Romans, you have to write this one down. You reach out for others by this, because love never fails. Romans 5, verse 5, say, listen, Romans 5, verse 5, and hope make her not ashamed. Listen, I want to preach on hope one of these days, but hope is not faith. The different thing. You don't pray in hope, you pray in faith. <laughs> That's for another day. Listen, he said, and hope make her not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost which is given to us. We are born again. The love is in your heart. You are the nature of God. It's in you. But it's there. It needs to be expressed by action. The love to love others, to love un unlovable. For example, let me give you this example. Are you hearing? The beginning of this year, God told me to be giving out, listen to me, money to all students that's going to college so they can buy their materials. Hmm? To be giving everybody 250 that are going to college. We are going to be doing every year until they finish their college. To help them to buy material stuff. Now, I saw, uh, if natural is, wow, we don't have the money. No. God, when God said it, it's happening in the spiritual realm. When we take the step of faith, boom, it's there. That's love. You cannot comprehend that. How can God love the unlovable? How can love God love people like me? You don't have to try to, to comprehend that in your mind. It's in the heart. You take the step of it. God told us. He said, every Thanksgiving, we need to be giving out. Yeah, you listen to me. Give certificate for everybody that come to go and enjoy with our family. How can you do that? It's the love of God. Now, in this summer, we'll be giving out clothes and food out for people. I'm not talking about yeses now. Everybody, you, that is the little who can express our love. You cannot change the whole world, but you can change the world of somebody. You cannot change the whole world, but you can change the world of somebody through the love of God. You cannot comprehend that. Praise the Lord, somebody. If you are hearing me, say, Amen. That nature is in you. In 1 John 4, Verse 17. First John 4 17 says, Yes. So we are in this world. God is love. We are the children of love. <laughs> we need power. We pray for power. Listen. All you need is the gospel of love, the gospel of God. Oh, Mama Shanta. That is the nature of God. Inside nature of God. There's power. There's God attribute. That is why love never fails. Oh, glory be to God. Praise God. You know, holiness that is required. There's a requirement for holiness in the Bible. The Bible says without holiness, nobody can see God. Holiness is required. Righteousness is required. And that's what God is asking. And nobody can it the standard of the divine holiness in the Bible? But when you believe the Lord Jesus, you believe the finished work of Christ, not by prayer, not by doing things, but you believe He died for you. You believe that Spirit is in you now. That holiness now is a product of that faith. You don't pray, you don't pray for holiness. You going to do I want to be holy. No, 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 no. Holiness is a product of faith in the finished work of Christ. 
Righteousness is a product of faith in the finished work of Christ. Goodness is a product of faith in the finished work of Christ. It's in you. If you are born again, listen to what the Bible says. Romans chapter 6. Oh, hallelujah. I believe somebody is getting this now. Romans chapter 6 verse 22. Romans 6 22 says, But now being made free from sin, listen, and become servant to God, you have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. See? What you pray for, oh God, I don't want to say, holy, 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 listen. When you live and you try the fresh work of Christ, you have the Lord to come into your spirit. Hey, the fruit of that faith in the finished work is holiness. It's righteousness. I will be teaching about lifestyle evangelism next month. It will be a blessing. There's a man in the Bible. This man is a Pharisee. Listed by religion. He's a teacher of the, of the law by title. He's a member of Sandrine because inside Friday that Sandrine they select him, they choose to select him and kill him and, and arrest everybody that called himself Christian and practice Christianity and took letters legally to go and arrest anybody that called himself Christian in Damascus. In the middle of the journey, there was a light from heaven. And God arrested him. He fell down. Hallelujah. He fell down. And God said, you are possible to me. And he was blind for three days. And God says, when you get to Damascus, I will send somebody to you to pray for you. At the same time, God revealed to Saban and Anaya. He said, and he gave an exact house and address. He said, go to that place and lay your hand on Saul. His name of this persecutor, most of you know I'm talking about. But when I'm going, this, and I begin to say, no, God, you can't do this. This guy is ready to kill us. And this are God said, no, I'm touching him already. My love has already captured him. <laughs> Are you going to stop? Nobody that God cannot touch through this law. And listen to this. I read it. I add chapter 9, verse 13 and 14. Act 9, 13 and 14. Say, then Ananias answered, Say, Lord, I have heard by men of this man how much evil he has done to the saints at Jerusalem. And here he has. He had authority from the chief priest to ban all that call on thy name. And God said, listen, my love has captured him. He says, show him vessel for me. Can you do that? That is the love of God. You don't need to pray for, oh God, oh God, love, joy. No. When you just trust the Lord, you are the victory that is after you, is after him. He that touches you, touches him. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be afraid. You just sleep. When there's a bad dream, you say, bad dream, I come against you. Lose the hole. When there's a disease, disease, don't touch me. Go back. And you relax. Oh, hallelujah. You don't feel healed before you believe that you are healed. You are healed because the word of God says so. You don't feel, are you listening to me? You don't feel happy before you know that you are. You have the joy of the law. The joy of the law is in the spirit of God. You begin to add love. You begin to add joyful. You begin to add rich. You begin to add that you have the healing you are looking for. That's faith. You believe that through the finished work of crime, you confess it in your mouth. Then you have it. Oh, glory be to God. Again, I will be back here in, in uh, September 5th on Monday for continuation of a brand new message, the last time of evangelism on March of calendar, September 5th. I will see you then, but now before I go, if you don't know the Lord, say, Lord Jesus, 
Say that with me. Give my life to you. Come and be my Lord and my Savior. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. He said that. Welcome to the family of God. A new beginning in crime. You have the right to cast out devil now, to speak in tongue, to lay your hand on the sick, and he shall recover. That is the benefit of being born again. I want to pray for you. I want to join my faith with your face. You're going through some problem in your body, in your health, in your family. I come against disease. I come against that time. I come against failure. I come against fear. Lose your horse now in the name of Jesus. Don't come back again no more. Somebody say, I am free. Say it, I'm free. In Jesus' name. Amen. That's it. I'll see you again. This thing on September the fifth on Monday, the same time, the same place. Remember, Jesus is love. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs>